Read BBS. BBS. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Rescheduled for November 15th. AT&T Stadium, Arlington, Texas. I feel like we're being sold some bullshit, y'all. Besides the fact that Mike is 58 and already had to postpone the fight due to medical issues after being pulled off a cross-country flight. Besides all that, the shit smells fishy to me. And I'm speaking on a performance level. That's what I mean. I don't know. I don't know how legitimate this fight itself will be. Look at Mike, man. Mike's being friendly at the press conference. He's unthreatened by Jake. He's amused by Jake. Amused by Jake. Playfully pushing him and shit. That ain't Mike Tyson, man. And I can't quite put my finger on it, but something about it all doesn't sit well with me. Now, with that said, if, 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 if Mike pulls out again, If all 58 of those years creeps up on Mike yet again, forcing him to pull out yet again, I have the perfect replacement opponent for you, Jake Paul. My homeboy, Francisco Rodriguez, better known as Microwave. Microwave is three wins, two losses. Microwave is fighting in Mexico on August 30th, Jake. He's on his way to four and two. Microwave is 46 years old. And he's a small cruiserweight, too. He's actually considering campaigning at light heavyweight. He can make light heavyweight. And I know you like him undersized and a bit gray-bearded, Jake. Hey, microwave is perfect. Jake Paul versus microwave. Because I don't think Jake Paul can beat a microwave. I know for a fact Jake Paul can't beat the microwave. Tell him, microwave. Can Jake Paul beat a microwave? Can he beat the microwave? I don't think so.